Welcome to my Huawei zoom test and in this zoom, zoom test you can see I'm already again in the Albert Park and in this zoom test we want to check out which phone can zoom, which Huawei phone can zoom better on the uh, sky tower in the background and for this I'm using my Mate XS I also have my uh, Mate 30 Pro here and I have an old contender the P30 from Huawei as well not the P30 Pro but the P30 and we will check because they have similar zoom ranges and we want to check which of those zooms the best so let's get started with some simple zoom tests so let's start with the Huawei Mate XS and you can see the sun came out here uh, should be hiding in a few minutes behind the clouds but let's zoom in this is super wide this is the one times zoom this is uh, three times the zoom approximately and now five times zoom and let's go to ten times zoom as you can see here you can see details the stabilization works quite okay and you can see the clouds and you'll notice that the other shots that will follow are shots that I recorded previously simply because this shot I messed up by choosing a different color profile and if I choose a different color profile it does not uh, render in HDR so this is three times zoom this is two times this is one times and this is ultra wide so this is now the recording test with the mate 30 pro and this is the super wide angle let's zoom to one times now uh, this is three times this is five times you can see the details here stabilization works and this is ten times if you have problems with stabilization I figured out that you have to set the bitrate to uh, the uh, frames per second to automatic if you set it manually to 30 for some reason the stabilization is turned off so might be a firmware issue with this new version that I have but keep that in mind if you have not stabilized shots so 10 times zoom just like the others and one times and super wide angle which I think has the best colors and the best view now the p30 not the p30 pro super wide angle you can see a lot more stable than the mate 30 pro the one times about three times now okay has some problems with white balance had to tap now to select the sky tower about five times you can see how smooth this footage is already in comparison to the Mate 30 Pro and 10 times maximum zoom Let's see the details here well, if we get, it's also very stable and it has some linking issues so I'm sure you can see it go back to about five times three times one time and ultra wide so all of those cameras can zoom in ten times maximum let's take a look at photos this is the Mate XS ultra wide good colors good uh, HDR and I think from the sharpness it's okay this is the white one you can see a color shift slightly sharpness okay HDR okay 
three times zoom you can see it's getting darker there a color shift again a bit from the quality okayish but a bit too dark for my taste the five times hybrid zoom is a bit brighter and yeah i think it is good now we come to the 10 times zoom which is a bit more the last thing i would say i would use and uh, it produces a good quality you can see some details on the sky tower 20 times zoom is like mm, uh, this is something you can see a bit more in details but everything above 20 times like the 30 times zooms is like uh, you can see a color shift uh, uh, and it's not very good now the mate 30 pro ultra wide has better colors more punch in this colors and the details are better here 40 megapixel sensor the white one also almost the same color slight shift in the colors but the mate 30 pro does a better job when it comes to color rendition here you can see it also with the tele zoom it almost almost kept the same kind of color and the details are okay five times hybrid zoom as well and when it comes to 10 times zoom we see the same thing that we saw with the um, mate xs we can see still details there good rendition good quality even the 20 times looks okay-ish but everything above this is just a gimmick i would say like the 30 times zoom here you can see a color shift again and you can see that uh, you don't see much more than before now the p30 ultra wide you can see also punchy colors but i think the worst when it comes to ultra wides very soft uh, the white one colors sh shift slightly again but also from in terms of quality very good comparable to the mate xs then again the tele zoom a color shift it's getting too dark and you can see this also with the hybrid zoom five times it's a bit too dark uh, reminds me of the mate xs no wonder because they have the same camera sensors basically 10 times zoom i somehow feel a bit of lack of details here i have to say and also the 20 times zoom doesn't look as good and detailed as on the mate xs or the mate 30 pro and the same goes for the tailor again the same color shift and yeah, a few details that you can see here but less than before and i think all of those camera systems show that they are very very capable in video mode a zooming range up to 10 times which is pretty good even handheld you can see that they do a phenomenal job when it comes to stabilization and when it comes to shots yeah i think up to 10 times even up to 20 times sometimes you can good can good uh, can get good shots at least if you have enough light if it gets dark then you get problems the noise creeps in and so on but in normal light conditions it should be no problem with all three of those cameras but if i have to rank this i would say number one is the mate 30 pro simply because the ultra wide has more details and i think has a better color rendition but this is a color rendition you can see in in total in the mate 30 pro series it has a better color rendition in my opinion at least and i think also the color shifts in between different lenses are a lot lot smaller you can see them still even if i'm looking at the viewfinder or looking at the screen while zooming in i can see when it shifts the color a bit when it switches lenses you can see it but still it is very very consistent in comparison to the mate xs or the mate uh, the p30 and especially on the p30 i have the feeling that this uh, older processor combination with the software and the signal noise ratio is a bit of a bummer because it is producing less sharper images has a bit of more color shifting and i think uh, the details are a bit lacking in comparison to the mate xs i think the mate xs though so it has the similar when it, even the same camera setup due, due to the new kirin 990 chip and better signal to noise ratio and better software inside of the chip itself uh, neural processing engine and the ai stuff doing this work it is slightly better in details i would say color shift you can see it is very similar to the p30 just because they're using the same sensors in this case uh, maybe a slightly a bit better um, and in general i would give the mate xs the second place and then the third place the p30 
uh, all of them photo mode 30 times zoom is it really usable uh, you can write it in the comments if you think it is usable i would say no uh, up to 20 times now up to 10 times i would say yeah you can use it somehow 20 times is a bit like painful already and 30 times it's like it's falling apart already the all of them have a big color shift when it comes to 30 times zoom and uh, the details are simply not there so i don't think 30 times 30 times zooms uh, is 30 times zoom is something that you really really want i think up to 10 times zoom is the sweet spot and you can see what they can do with software i don't have the p40 pro here which has p40 pro uh, plus which has the uh, 10 times optical zoom even i think it would be even better when it comes to this and probably can reach results that we reach now with our 10 times zoom with its 20 times zoom which would be awesome in terms of rendition in terms of uh, details clarity and so on but we have to see i'm not so sure right now I don't have the device probably won't get the device because it's a more of a gimmick i would say the 10 times zoom is a sweet spot and uh, the cameras right now are pretty good pretty darn good in uh, bright daylight conditions um, but yeah if you have some tips and tricks how to use this zoom either with your hand handheld or by using a tripod or something else then uh, write it in the comment section otherwise thanks for watching and until the next time Bye.